hello to you and thank you for watching my video. As always, please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or would like me to cover something in greater depth or cover something I have not, please put it into the comments. Today, I'm going to go over how to use the ripe import tool with PHP IPAM. Please note that as of the release date of my video, version 1.6.0 has been released however ripe does not seem to work correctly and i get an error message when using php versions 8.3 8.2 8.1 and 8.0 so i reverted back to php ipam 1.53 using php version 7.4 so I can do the demonstration. I also have created a ticket with on Git. Maybe you too can create a ticket to let the creator know. So let's begin. Please note that your SE Linux settings here will affect connectivity. You will need them to be in at least or at least set to permissive mode. I'm not going to go into the use cases for the ripe import tool because there are many reasons to use it. But I'm going to assume that your company has an AS that you maintain so that I'm going to basically demo that. The, if you don't know what the ripe tool is, there are four regions um, which would be North America, APAC, South America, and Europe. ARN is for the, I believe, the European area. And I'll show you the differences. Um, to get an AS number, I use a tool called ASN Lookup. Now, if I type in something like Google, We can actually look here and we'll see that this is Google United States of America. There's Singapore, China, Ireland, India, and Singapore. If I go into the ASN number, you'll see there's a whole bunch and it's Google, right? And as well as the IPv6. Uh, if I go to, oh, and also, as I was mentioning, the regional area, sorry, for the US is ARAN. For Singapore, the regional registry is APNIC, and as you can see, there's a lot less IP addresses. And um, let's see, if I do Ireland, that's in Europe, and it's RIPE, which is what the RIPE tool is made after. These networks are too big, so I'm going to use something else that's a little bit smaller. And in here, right, we can see we have Nestle, and we'll look at Switzerland, right? And they just have one network. So this is much easier to use, at least for the demonstration. So I'm going to copy this AS number. I'm going to go back to PHP IPAM. In here, I'm going to go down to the Ripe tool, which is located in the, oops, IP related info. I'm going to put in this AS number, which remember is Nestle or Nespresso. And I'm going to hit search. And look at that 91209 slash 24. And that's what this is. So this went out over the internet and pulled this. So I'm just going to type Nestle. Now I'm not going to commit any VLANs or anything, but you could do that if you had a VRF or you wanted to show the name. This doesn't always work, but if I import it and I dumped it to customers, hopefully you caught that. If I go to customers, you'll see there's Nestle. Now in here, right, there's nothing happening. So Let's do a scan for new subnets. And 
I don't need to debug it. I'm going to hit scan and hopefully we'll get a bunch of devices back. Now the reason this is working is we, by the way, I, I'm on the default settings, so it's pulling from Google. You can see these don't have names. If I hit add discovered hosts, and now we have all these so these items from the subnet downloaded and put in. So you know, from the standpoint of ease. If this was your network or a partner's network that you needed to maintain, you know, if there was a changing IP address or whatnot, um, you would then go in here. Obviously, you could further modify it by adding a new VLAN. You probably wouldn't do that because it's on the outside. You could change the name server to default to this. Um, you could change the customer if you had to, the location. Um, the other thing is, right, you, if you wanted to discover or resolve the domain names going forward, you would use this. And to show as a name, right, if I do this, let me see if that's going to work. Yes. See, it showed up over here as Nestle. So this is from my description. Uh, well... I hope this made understanding how to enable the RIPE import tool a little easier in PHP IPAM. Finally, I wanted to thank you for watching my video, and always please like and subscribe, and add some comments of what you liked or what else you would like me to cover. Thank you. Have a great day.